how you folks out there doing? It's a new day. By the end of the day, I will have a new website called The Real AIX World. So let's hope this works this time. So we can move on to the next chapter. Well, folks, just showing here plastic guitar. Know me. Hopefully, this video you can hear what I'm saying. Now, let me shut this down. Now, that was a long ass introduction. So, um, as you can hear, the news is in the background. I'm up to my regular old things. I'll sit and watch the news, and I'll report it to you. Because what they show in my neighborhood, they don't show in your neighborhood. What they show in your neighborhood, they do not show in my neighborhood. That is media manipulation. Showing part of the truth and not the whole truth is not just not the truth. It's not the whole truth. I wish you could see my smile right now. Hold on. Trouble spots on the on the Bay Bridge. Let's see. Let's see if I can. start with the maps uh, just because uh, give them some time here I want to show you that also in the East Bay we had an earlier accident southbound 880 not only I can I could bring you traffic if I really wanted to so today as I do this 14 minute show today now I have to turn the TV off because now they're interrupted. I was just listening to this voice and trying to speak. It's like, I can do both, but they're just like, okay, now this guy's annoying me now. Injury on the bridge. If I was uh, streaming live live into your cars and everything. I would try to do some traffic, but I'm not doing traffic. Well, folks, you can't see the gray in my hair. It's, uh, it's kicking in like Obama's, but um, let's talk about what's really going on. I already paid homage to the greatest mind of all time we lost just recently. You know, one of the greats of all time. One of the greatest influences of American history of all time. Al Davis is, is no longer with us. So, um, let's move on. A few months ago, uh, London, Canada did a video about welfare. How they want these mothers to now uh, drug test before they receive any government benefits. That's all fine and dandy. Those people who think drug testing young mothers and even young fathers before they get any government benefits think that you're gonna hurt one group of people you're wrong. Several groups of people will be hurt because young people smoke weed. Young people smoke meth. Young people do speed, crank, crack, coke, 
Yowda powder pills. And why do young people get high? Because older people taught them how. Oh, I need a drink to deal with the stress. Oh, just give me a beer. I gotta smoke the cigarette. Oh, it makes me deal with the stress better. Oh, take something for that headache. We constantly have taught our children generation after generation after generation self-medicate for every fucking thing that bothers you. The sun is bothering my eyes. Take these pills. Oh, woke up my neck stiff. Take this pill. Oh, I can't sleep. Have a drink of brandy before you go to bed at night. Oh, it's cold. Take a shot before you go to work in the morning. So on and so forth, time and time again, over and over and over and over and over and over. We dope ourselves, dope ourselves over and over, generation after generation. Why? To cope. Oh, wow. If your kid can't sleep at night, just blow a little weed in his or her face and it'll send them off to dreamland. Give your kid a little alcohol or, you know, go to sleep. We grew up like that. And a lot of people, oh, no, ain't nobody. Yes, you did. We can all sit back and look at our lives and say, oh, no, that didn't happen to us. Oh, that, didn't happen. that never happened to me. That is a lie. We had the drunk uncle, the drunk dad, the sauced up mom, the slushy auntie, the dope fiend cousin. Each and every family in the United States of America has somebody with problems in it who self-medicate. Let's go have a couple beers after work. Self-medication. I gotta smoke a joint before I go to sleep. Self-medication. Oh, you have a cold? Let's go get that stuff I saw on TV. Self-medication. You know why there is no health care system in America? Because we do it ourselves. That's why they don't want to give us no free health care. Everything is in the stores that we need to continue to live a little bit longer. All us poor people need is some frickin' aspirins, a cold compress. You got a broken leg? Robitussin. Healthcare in America. Michael Jackson paid $150,000 a month for health care and look what it got him so in America what do we need first of all we need for the whole entire world to reshift No longer the consumers. You know what? You wanna? You want me to uh, consume your product? Give it to me. I will sponsor you. I will tell everybody I know that I eat your food. I wear your shoes. I wear your shirts. I use your phone. 
Let how many people use your product be the payment for your product. Succeed by showing the, these are how many people use my product. Don't succeed by bleeding those who buy your product. Why give somebody a cell phone that might cause them cancer and expect them to pay the bill and then expect them to pay for the cancer treatment and then expect the family to pay for the funeral expenses? So where is the logic? in technology not being used to better our lives and not some underlying, some marketing scheme. So, like I said, if I, if I was gonna run for president, which I am running for president, I would demand that we all kick the doors in on the U.S. Patent Office and liberate the people of America. The only way we're going to get ahead is to place ourselves ahead with personal communication devices that are free. Remember when we used to have VHF and UHF? That was so people can stay informed and now there's no method for anybody to get any free information over the airwaves. What happened to putting it on channel 50 and getting the free news? NBC, ABC, CBS, and then Fox, UPN, and so on and so forth. I've watched networks become. Remember how they start out with all these cheesy black shows? And then, you know, after so many years, you don't see the cheesy black shows no more. After the stations and the, and the, and the, the network is established. Think about Fox when they came out. And UPN, or I don't, I don't know what you got on your, in your neighborhood. Think about when these networks have popped up and they've came out with the cheesy black shows. Think about it. Live in color. Fox. Different strokes. Think about it. So, um, as we go through life and we see different things and we run out of time and wish we would have did things differently. Think about a society which is self-sustaining. The first thing I would do is go demand to all these auto workers, these automobile companies, the big three, Let's get some backwards capability going on. Build a new engine, not a new car. Give us an engine that'll run on something other than gas to works in the old car. One that's derelict sitting on the side of the road. Don't build a new car, build a new engine. I make these speeches and I say these things and then the best part of the speech gets cut off. So now I cut my own videos short. Vote for me.